Hello, everyone. Um, okay. And today, I would like to introduce a tool that I wrote by me, and uh, it's called SolidWare Checks, and uh, the SolidWare program. A uh, SolidWare Checks is a tool for auditing third parties, drivers, and third party rather kernel modules. They have their rules, and uh, we want to auditing their drivers running on our operating system. Uh, my name is Hui Zhe, and I'm a technical account manager. My manager is Scott. I'm not a technical account manager in the sales team. I'm the technical account manager in the product management team. And uh, today, um, I'm going to have a brief about what SolidWare program is. And after that, I will introduce the two I wrote, um, the SolidWare checks. After that, I will have a demo to show how it works and uh, what it can generate and uh, we can what we can benefit from this tool. Okay, the first question is that, what is SolidWare program and uh, why would we need this program? We have a long history that third parties, the IGAs, our partners, they create their drivers to support their hardware and those kernel modules running on our operating systems, but we don't know whether they follow our rule, they can compatible well with our operating system, they provide it by themselves, they build by themselves, they have their own way to build their kernel modules. But our goal is to create a professional solution for the enterprise customer. To achieve that goal, and um, we create a solid driver program. This is why we need this and, uh, and what it is. So solid driver program creates a set of standards that facilitate third parties and uh, to provide kernel drivers and uh, for uh, in uniform, consistent, prevent, and a compatible manner that give the end user and confidence and confidence in identifying, installing, and using them in the Susalin enterprise environment. So um, with this program, we can cause less issues or bugs. It can be more compatible with our operating system. So what do we have um, in the solid drive program? I think first um, we would like to have a standard uh, for the KMPs and DUDs, and after that we, we check the KBI compatibility, stability, and we have a joint support agreement with the IHVs and partners. Because when customers facing an issue and they fail Bugzilla in our system, but because they don't know what the issue, what the root cause is, and uh, we, uh, we dig into that box, and we found it may caused by the drivers created by the third parties. So um, we have a joint support agreement that can show that if we found it not caused by our operating system, then we have a way to reach the vendors to ask them to fix the issue, and then we can provide a solution for the customers. Also, we have the build services, and we build the DoD KSO file for our, for our partners, um, but I think still a uh, lot of actuaries, they still provide the KMPs and the uh, ISO file by themselves. Also, we have hosting services. We provide the ISO file and uh, DODs on our website, and we have model ABI tracking. And, uh, but like I mentioned, we have some attributes we work with so we can make sure that we, they meet our standard to provide their kernel modules. But still, there's still lots of attributes they provide the kernel modules by themselves. They build KMPs um, according to what they used to, they like to. So we have uh, this to this solid driver checks. This is a new tool in development, and we want to evaluate the kernel modules and the kernel module package built by them, whether they meet our standards. This is why we need the solid driver checks. So at the beginning, the solid driver checks, um, we don't have this tool, and Scott is my manager, and he asked me to download one of our partner's KMPs. Maybe we can check their the supported flag in their kernel modules. And uh, we, uh, we expect the kernel module the, the supported flag can be set, the 
external value because external to us means that we can both suppose this kernel module. Both suppose means when it have issues, we know who we should contact in the address company, then we can fix them together. And, uh, but after that, we think, okay, after we check the supported flag, maybe we can do more about that. So we, we keep thinking what a feature that we need and we add those feature in the SolidWare check tool. And now I think maybe uh, in the future that we can provide this to, to, to the vendors and the users, our partners, like uh, people who don't know a KMP that whether they should um, install or or the kernel modules installed on their operating system. They don't know whether they meet our standard. They can use it to, to check that. So basically, the two can check two things. is about the KMP's kernel module packages and the kernel module. The kernel module installed on the C term or running on the C terms. It also can check the remote C terms. So what does the two check in detail? It checks the kernel modules installed on the C term. It also can find the package, which package provides these kernel modules. Also, it can check the running and installed modules. <clears throat> For the kernel module package, it checks whether the kernel module package have a license. And if the license is not a GPL, then we are giving it a warning message. And, and the vendors, it should have a vendor. Otherwise, they can't find who provides this a kernel multi package, what it could cause potential issue, and we check the signature, but we don't check the, the signature who's, who's belong the who, who the signature belong to. Like we don't check that, but we check whether it has a signature at present. Um, if there's no signature, it could cause potential issue, like the security issue, um, kind of like that. Also, we check whether it invoke our weak model. <coughs> And we check the kernel uh, symbol dependency, which have whether it's match between the KMP and its kernel modules. And we check the mode alias supplements, whether the mode alias in the kernel module are also can be found in the kernel module package. This is what we check so far for the kernel module package. Also, we check the kernel modules installed or located in the C term or running in the C term, which has the install path, whether it have a license, signature, and uh, the supported flag. And for the kernel module packages, we also check the kernel module inside the kernel module packages. And after we check that, we give a report uh, to the users. So the report can be formatted in HTML, it can be formatted. Uh, in JSON output, also you have a filter options because on a C term it may have like 9,000 or, or more than that kernel modules, we want to have a filter option, but so far the filter options only works with kernel module checks. It's not working with the KMP checks yet, but we will add that feature to KMP. KMP. And we highlight the potential issue, like we give a um, Red and uh, yellow. The word that that means, uh, if we find an issue, um, if you find an issue in yellow in the report, it, be, it means that it's a warning message. Uh, it's not necessary, but could cause uh, potential issues, like they have no signature and uh, no GPL compatible issues, and kind of like that, it could cause you, like you don't know where it's come from or it may not, if you don't have signature, like I mentioned, it, it may have the security issue. But if it's highlighted in red, it maybe can cause problem because the uh, kernel module may not running um, properly or have issues during the installation or, or when you upgrade the kernel, then it will cause issues or it cannot work with the proper hardware. Uh, by the way, we don't check the code. We only check the way that the edge we our partners, how they build the KMP. So how does it work? Uh, this solid driver uh, checks this program and it can be run as a command line or run as a service. If you run as a command line, then it can check the local KMPs and uh, local kernel modules. But if you run it as a service, 
it can collect the kernel module data from the C term you are running and provide the data as a RESTful API. So the solid driver command line tool can fetch the data and generate a report from a remotely. I mean, on the remote C, uh, on the remote server, you still need to run the solid driver check service. And uh, it can run on bare metal. It can be containerized. Uh, we I add this filter uh, because, like I mean, we may have lots of kernel modules in on an operating system, and uh, and the user don't want to look go through all the kernel modules. They want to go through the kernel module they are interested. And so I add this filter. You can add this filter as condition to filter the the result. Like on the first one, that um, we can find the vendor that match the address name, and uh, it don't have a supported flag. And if you only want to find this information, you can have this um, you can have this condition there. And also, if you want to find the if you only get the result that the solid driver checks um, give a warning or an error message, you can just um, add the second condition. Level dot level um, not equal pass. Then that means um, it have issues. It could be a warning message or a error message, and it also it support very complex um, condition. Like we want to check the module one and module two, and we we don't want to check the running ones, and or or they don't have, and or they don't have supported flag. You, you can have complex uh, filters to this tool. Okay, and um, so I'm, I'm going to show you a demo. As you may aware, I'm running a max system, but still I can run this tool inside the container. As I mentioned, it can be containerized. I did a little bit of trick. Uh, I have a workstation in so leap, and I copy the kernel modules from there. And the kernel modules can be information on my laptop, and I mount them as a volume to my container here. So I can check the kernel module on my in my container on my Mac. Uh, okay, I'm trying to do how to the text. Does make it bigger. Can I close that. Sorry. Let me try to open a, a new terminal to see if that works. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I'm familiar with Linux system, not familiar with Mac. It's really hard to use than the than our system. Could you see it here? <laughs> so just a little bit from. I'm sorry for that. Did, did you put uh, the credit card inside? What car? Okay, okay, I did. Here. Okay, I see. Command plus. Oh, it works. I thought you only use Linux. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, yeah. And here I run this service on one container. It has an IP inside this container. Okay. And running this, uh, it has a refresh, refresh interval. It means that um, it's only for one hour. It's the default value. You can set it to whatever you I want. I think at least you should refresh um, not less than one hour because it's not needed. And uh, after that, it collects all the data in this container and then provide it as a, um, as a RESTful API. So here, and uh, let's make this bigger. Check. Dash L means that of the format. Generate to the report. Okay. Now it's generating a report here. Okay, I can show you the report. Now you. As you can see, that I have a report. All the drivers, we want all the all the drivers are installed um, under the lab module path, and we want it to have a GPL license or GPL compatible license, and uh, the, it have a signature, and the su supported flag can be external. And uh, for our system, we mark this as yes or no, and it's also okay for us. But we want the third party that provided with the external value for the supported flag. <clears throat> also, it's checked whether it's running or not, and which KMPs have this, have this kernel modules. If there's no KMPs found, then it will give a, a warning message. And if, if they found an issue, and they may not know what they should do, so they can click here. Then interview, reach the project here, and uh, then we have a menu on our website. Here is the menu. Okay, here. Here is our standard. We want all the edge with and the partner to read this menu and build their campus properly so they can meet our requirements. And this how I fetch the data remotely and generate report. So now I'm going to generate another re report by checking the KMPs. I have KMPs entered in this directory. So I So this tool will check all the KMPs and generate a report. Okay, let me open this report. Okay, is here. Also in, in this uh, report that I have a summary here, so you can find that uh, have a summary about the wind by the windows. Like this window provides three KMPs here, and they're totally fine. And also, um, there's one windows. Um, there's no windows. The one KMP that have no windows here, and it have issues. Of those, I build those for the example for this presentation. But uh, uh, in the real life, when I'm checking our edge, we they, a lot of them have issues and we want them to improve their KMP so they can meet our requirement. And if we check the detail here, we can find what was wrong with, with, with the KMPs. That first one, the windows should not be empty because don't have a window. And here, 
it don't invoke our weak model. And after that, the license of the driver are not invalid or don't have that. And um, there, there's no signature found and there's no supported flag here. Okay. And this is how we check current modules. And the last one, I'm going to show how we check the how I check the cat the kernel modules on the local C term. We don't need to give any parameters to this, just uh, the default is to check the local C terms. Just the format and uh, output. It could take a while because we have thousands of kernel modules. Almost done. As you can see, we don't check a lot in the two cur at present. Um, in the, um, you are the developer, you may have cases that you 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 encounter a lot, like from the third parties. Um, kernel module, and uh, if you think something that we have to check, just feel free to let me know so I can add to add the check to this tool, and we can prevent um, <coughs> we can prevent the issue and um, before um, they build the KMPs. Okay, it's over. Now the is finished. Let me share this. Okay, here is. The kernel module checks is as same as that fetched uh, from the remote C term, from the remote container. More accurate. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that for the kernel module package checking, we not just check the KMPs, we also check the kernel modules inside the KMPs, like the license, signature, supported flag symbols, and the mode allies. Okay, this is what I want to share in our today's presentation. And so, uh, any questions? Uh, so this tool is intended for partners and stuff, so they run it on their own, I, mm. from what I understood. But uh, do you also see this being integrated into uh, OBS, IBS, so that uh, it can be part of the linting process? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, so far we, we just found our partners, and I wish use this tool to auditing their KMPs and kernel modules to check whether they can meet our requirement so we can have less issue when, when, the partner, when, when they're running the kernel modules on our operating system in the customer's um, business environment. Okay, any questions? Hi, I'm Hi. wondering if this tool can actually be integrated with the partner application. So I'm actually working for Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And I'm wondering if there is a way to integrate this into uh, the reports that we do in HP. So if um, I, th I have recommend this to, to one of our partners. Um, I don't want to mention the name here. And uh, they use it to, to check this and find there's lots of issues in, the, in their KMPs provided by their IHVs. So they contact their IHVs and ask them to con contact me directly or read the menu I provide. 
so they can build their KMPs probably. Yeah, and it is it's being used by our partners, some of them, but not all of them yet. Okay, any questions? Okay, then we are good. Thank you.